Practical and methodical thinking. Mercury is the planet of communication, travel, um, all types of email, phone, uh, text, anything that involves communication from one person to another, or uh, cars, vehicles. Um, it's going to move into the very logical and rational sign of Capricorn from December 1st to December 23rd, 2023. And then it's going to move again on January 13th, 2024 to February 5th, 2024. Now, Mercury is going to spend an extra amount of time in the sign of Capricorn this year due to its retrograde from December 13th up to January 1st, 2024. Now, while retrograde, Mercury returns to Sagittarius on the 23rd, but later re-enters Capricorn on January 13th. Now, this is a lot of backward and forward movement for the planet of travel and communication. When Mercury is in Capricorn, our thinking is methodical, our focus is rational, it's practical, it's easier to concentrate on tasks at hand that that are under this influence. Our conversations may be quite realistic or focused on business or practical matters. Our thought patterns and communication styles become more logical, orderly, and organized. We are more able to kind of sort out what is relevant and what is essential. Realism enters the picture. Our speech becomes no nonsense, getting straight to the point. Precision becomes more important to us. We're not interested in uh, fluffy stuff. Uh, we're preferring to go straight to the point. Communication is somewhat guarded and maybe even a little bit cautious. And it's similarly not very expressive. We gravitate to concrete subjects and information that's logical and useful and well organized. And at this time, you may prefer a more methodical approach to any studying. So at this time, we need to be wary of becoming too rigid in your thinking. We may come across as being brash or harsh. And for some of us, there's this fine line between realism and pessimism. So at times we might lack humor or we're more inclined towards sarcasm when we are joking around. We can be quite stubborn with our ideas and our methods. We can use this uh, period to make these solid, practical, realistic plans and to get organized. So at this time, we can be more concerned with our reputation and our responsibilities. We love to plan ahead. We love to map out the next steps that move us forward in the cycle. And any changes to plans or schedules can be difficult for some people during this time. So try to get your work in quickly because things are going to go a little bit sideways when Mercury stations retrograde. Hi, welcome. I'm your astrologer, Patricia Tate, and this is your Mercury and Capricorn astrology forecast for all 12 signs. So let's dive in. So for Aries Sun and Aries Rising, Mercury is going to station retrograde at the top of your, your chart. This is your career, your job, your legacy, how people see you. Your 10th house is your social status. It's authority figures. It is professional life, ambitions, reputation. And remember that Mercury rules over your third house of communication, who you communicate with on a daily basis. This can be with siblings, neighbors, this can be with work associates. The third house refers to all types of communication, travel, and um, ways that you talk and exchange information and data. It's also the house where we uh, journal, write things, or um, communicate w our thoughts down onto paper. Now, Mercury also rules over your sixth house. Your sixth house is your daily habits. It is your balance between your work and your home. It's where we look to find a mentor or a guide or we run ideas past people. The sixth house is also um, our service to others in relationship to our coworkers. So all of these topics are going to blend into what is going on with Mercury with you. So I want you to follow Mercury for a couple of important dates. We start off with December 1st, Mercury enters into Capricorn. As we move forward, uh, on December 13th, you're going to notice that Mercury is now going to be stationing retrograde. When Mercury stations retrograde, it says 
I want to go back over, review, rethink, rewind. Um, it's all the rewords of, of a topic and an area of your life. So it literally is going back over things that have to do with your career, your legacy, your, um, your public life, your authority, your, your public reputation, your ambitions, your social status. This will have you going back over those topics of where things need to be solid and stable before you move on with. Then on December 22nd, Mercury is going to be Kazemi with the sun. That means that they are meeting up in the sky. They call this in the heart of the sun. This is about receiving deep wisdom and it is, um, the sun is going to magnify this energy or this information that you are now getting. The sun is you and where it shines. And it's literally at the top of your chart saying, I want you to focus on the legacy that you're going to leave behind. I want you to focus on doing things right, doing things where it's your social status is going to be under a spotlight. So everything that you're going to be doing is going to be, um, uh, available for everybody to see so know that you can't like hide things and when you are going back over some things it will have you going back over paperwork ba back over things that you've sent out ideas or strategies that you wanted to build upon and then the very next day on the 23rd mercury will slip back into sagittarius now the whole theme or flavor of things will now shift into um I have these great ideas. I want to have these connections. I want to have these cross-cultural experiences. I need to go back over my new moon intentions that I had back in the um, the late part, or well, December. It was the new moon that's going to be in December. So you're, you had this new moon intention and it was in the sign of Sagittarius. And we talked about it at the last um, video about setting these intentions and knowing that Mercury was going to move forward um, through Sagittarius of I have these great ideas. It's with travel and communication and connecting with other people, possibly publishing, possibly diving into a class or a workshop. Then Mercury said, how can I use this for my career, my job, my legacy and other people that I want to see it the way that I communicate do I find a mentor do I find a guide how do I make this happen when mercury goes stations retrograde it'll go back through your career sector and then it'll have you going back to the drawing board of your new moon intention that you set um, in the sign of Sagittarius so um, I will have another video that comes that we that I will share with you about how it will go back over that it's it's basically about fine tuning and tweaking um, your new moon intentions and saying, how can I go back over my new moon intentions and make them more sustainable, make them more realistic, uh, make them more viable of what I want to do in the outside world. Um, this could have you going back over a class, back over a workshop, back over something that you taught, or remember it's also the house of legal matters and traveling. So literally going back over those things before it stations direct to move forward. So Aries, I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active for the next two month period. So be sure to look for updates um, on the Mercury transits to come. I invite you to join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. And uh, to schedule a private reading, you can go to willowgracemystic.com and to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Taurus Sun and Taurus Rising, Mercury is now moving into your ninth house. For you, this is the house of learning and traveling and exploring and wanting to dive into spirituality, wanting to experience these these experience these cross-cultural experiences that you only get from taking classes or workshops or from traveling or your interactions with other people the ninth house is foreign travel philosophies what are your beliefs I love it because it's also prophetic dreams its visions it's about law and advertising and publishing and its teaching or um, taking classes. It, this could be you literally teaching a class or you diving into a class or a workshop. All right. So 
Mercury also rules over your second house of your self-worth, your cash, your property, your personal resources, and your fifth house of what brings you pleasure, what brings you joy. Um, tapping into your inner child, art, music, creativity. It's also where you take risks and it's childlike activities. It could also be your own personal children. Now know that Mercury is going to station retrograde. So you are going to start off with on December 1st with this idea of I'm ready to take this class. I'm ready to take this workshop. I want to work on publishing something. I want to dive into this. It's going to make me feel good. It taps into my creative side. And then I want you to follow along because on the 13th, Mercury is now going to station. It's going to slow down and station retrograde. When Mercury stations retrograde, it literally will have you going back over, um, rethinking some of your thoughts or ideas. It could have you re, uh, going back over some work that you were ready to publish or a class that you were ready to take or diving into um, a form of spirituality and saying, I think I want to go down that rabbit hole. I want to learn more about that. Then as we move forward, we're going to have a really important day. It's going to be December 22nd. Mercury is going to be conjoined with the sun. They call this Kazemi or in the heart of the sun. This is a beautiful opportunity for receiving wisdom um, because it's traveling backwards. The sun is illuminating, but Mercury is like hidden thoughts, ideas, communication, and being methodical and slow and steady. And how do I do this? And then it's the stroke of brilliance of, oh, I get it. Now this is what I have to do. And Mercury stationing retrograde is just an opportunity to literally go back and fine tune and tweak some areas in order to make them more sustainable. Then the very next day on December 23rd, Mercury is now going to go into your eighth house of your shared resources. Um, your, your eighth house of shared resources, diving into taboo topics, it's what things, what um, it's other people's money, um, other people's resources, it's taboo topics, it's also joint ventures. It is um, an opportunity for you to dive into what do you want to do and how what resources do you have available to you and asking those questions it's where you look for these deep connections in order to move forward with now i'm going to have a separate video for this one but um uh, an overview synopsis of it is going to be you set a new moon intention when the moon was in sagittarius I talked about when you set this intention, it's with other people that you want to share resources with or that you want to share these connections with in order to move forward with. It is you diving into topics that might be considered taboo or that um, uh, resources that you want to communicate with other people and say, let's put all the cards on the table and make this happen. Now you set this new moon intention and then Mercury was thinking the bigger picture of it. When Mercury went into Capricorn, it said, I need to solidify these plans. If you want to publish this work, this is how we have to do it. If you want to travel here, this is how you're going to have to do it. Or these are the people that you want to connect up with, or this is the class that you want to take. When Mercury goes back into the sign of Sagittarius, it's going to take the wisdom and knowledge that you've gained and say, this was a beautiful intention, but now let's make it more sustainable, more uh, believable, more accurate, more real in order for you to be able to move forward with something that is able to build upon for your future. So I would love to hear about this in the comments, Taurus. Um, please, Mercury is going to be very active for the next two months. So I'm encouraging you to look at the updates for the Mercury transits as they come out. I also invite you to join me live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. And if you would like an in-depth reading of your chart, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. All right. So for Gemini sun and Gemini rising, Mercury is 
now moving into your eighth house of shared resources. The eighth house is the house where you combine everything that you have, your values, your money, your debt, or you are connected with somebody in some way. This can be a business partner, or this could be your significant other. Your eighth house is your private affairs. It's, it's the house where we experience this deep bonding in order to um, share these things with other people. It's uh, where we desire these deep connections it's also where we have these joint ventures whether they're oh, I said business or pleasure so it can be alimony child support cash property debt taxes now Mercury stationing here is very important to you because you are a Gemini. Gemini is ruled by the planet of Mercury. So it's your first house of self. It's your strength. It's how people see you. It's your power, your self-expression, your happiness. It is the mirror of who are you. Now Mercury also rules over um, your house, your home, your family, your roots, your foundation. So you know that as Mercury travels through the zodiac, it affects you and your foundation the people who you believe to be your family or who make up you for family or the people that shape you in your life or the people that are in your home now a couple of things about this mercury this is about your thoughts your ideas your communication and working on some realistic plans some ideas of things that you want to do that include other people and their resources so as mercury travels through the zodiac i want to bring you to the 13th so on the 13th mercury is now going to station and begin to move uh, well, it doesn't really move backwards, but it, they call it stationing retrograde, where it looks like it's going to be going back th backwards through the sky. So what it's going to do is have you go back over those contracts that you have with other people. Go back over the resources that you share with other people. That means money, um, uh, resources. It could have you having these open conversations about your opinions, your values with your business partner, your significant partner. Remember that uh, the eighth house is anybody that you share resources with, and this could be um, exes with um, their resources like the alimony, the child support, things like that. So Mercury stationing retrograde says, I am now going to go back over these contracts that we've had, the the inheritances, the wills, the everything, things that I have started, and now I need to go back over it with a fine tooth comb. Then on um, the on December twenty second, Mercury is going to be conjoined or con not conjoined conjunct with the sun. Now this means in the heart of or Kazemi. When the Mercury and the sun align up, it's about receiving this deep wisdom. The sun is you and it's illuminating all forms of communication and the communication is stationing retrograde, going back, going within, going back over paperwork, going over contracts, going within and saying, is this what I want? Is this what I need? Now on the very next day, on December 23rd, Mercury is now going to go back into your partnership sector. Now you're going to say, okay, I need to discuss with my business partner, my significant other, my best friend, my business um, clients. The seventh house has to do with anybody that you have these control contractual agreements with. It is the house of contracts and promises and negotiation and cooperation. So now it's going to go back into uh, this house saying, I am ready to now fine tune and tweak uh, this area of my life. Now, when you had a new moon that you set in the sign of Sagittarius, I talked about fine tuning and tweaking these, this new moon intention. You had this new moon about, oh yes, I cannot wait to move forward with these partners, these significant others. And then I said that Mercury was the, the planet of communication was like, let's get this in writing. And then it was gonna move forward to Capricorn. In the sign of Capricorn says, let's make this solid let's make it stable let's put everything in writing and make this contract really good or let's make everything sustainable over a longer period of time when mercury stations retrograde back into the sign of sagittarius i'm going to have a separate video on that but in a nutshell it's going to have you going back over what were your new moon intentions what were these contracts that you had now is going to be an opportunity with this new knowledge to go back over 
and readjust those contracts, readjust your um, the way that you shared this information and come out stronger, better and having something that's more stable and reliable with contractual agreements or um, business partners or significant others or something that'll have to do with your clients. The seventh house also has to do with open enemies and exes. Um, no, that is a viable avenue for Mercury to go back through. So any contracts that you have with an ex-spouse or an ex-business partner could now be up for like a negotiations when Mercury stations retrograde back into your seventh house. It basically brings people, places and things that, um, that you communicated with back to your seventh house. And um, for a second look, not always bad. So Gemini, I would love to hear how about how this resonates with you in the comments below because Mercury is going to be very active for you over the next two month period. Be sure to look for uh, updates that uh, include the Mercury transits that are going to be coming up. I invite you to join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. To get a more private and in-depth reading, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Cancer Sun and Cancer Rising, Mercury is now stationing direct in your seventh house of partnerships, relationships, significant others. It's the house where we negotiate and we have these contractual agreements. This could be with best friends, business partners. Um, this could be with your clients and this could be with open enemies and exes. Mercury moving into your seventh house has you wanting to build these relationships that are going to last. It's communicating in a way that makes sense to you. Now Mercury rules over your 12th house of your intuitive side, your dreams, your um, it's, it's hidden enemies also. So I'm just connecting those two. The 12th house is your intuition. It's the house of angels and guides and your psychic abilities and having these thoughts and these ideas and these downloads. Mercury also rules your third house of communication of who do you communicate with on a daily basis. This could be with siblings, neighbors, uh, work associates, it's where you go and talk and exchange ideas. It's also where you write down and journal and um, short distance travel. So no, all those topics are going to be um, what Mercury is going to be bringing in to your seventh house of your partnership. Your, this, remember business or significant other. So as Mercury stations direct and it moves through your seventh house, it's going to on the 13th station retrograde when mercury stations retrograde it will have you going backwards thinking about or bringing people back into your life that you thought were gone or or having you go back and rethink these contracts that you're signing remember that the seventh house is also um, not just contractual uh, promises but it's your contractual relationships and so it's going back over who do you have these contracts with whether it be a business partner or a client or a significant other it could be a marriage partner and you are going back over um, this could be written contracts or verbal contracts that you have with other people then as we move forward on December 22nd the Sun is going to meet up in the sky with mercury they call this Kazemi um, or in the heart of the Sun the sun is now illuminating this area and it's it's about building sustainability building relationships that will last building contracts that will last between you and others now mercury is all about short distance travel and writing journaling and thoughts and ideas and the way that you communicate but it's stationing retrograde it's crossing paths with the sun and so this is an opportunity to highlight and receive some deep wisdom that has to do um, with the people that you are having business with or that you are close to like a business partner or a best friend 
Then on the very next day, on December 23rd, the whole energy is now going to shift. Mercury is now going to go back into Sagittarius. It's, oh, I'm laying this groundwork for things to last. Now I need to go back into my sixth house of, I need to find a guide. I need to find a mentor. I need to find somebody that I can bounce these ideas off with. Um, Mercury in Sagittarius, you set a new moon intention in Mer when um, it was the sun and the moon and Mercury all together in your daily habits, in your service to others, in your connection um, with um, what do I want to plant the seeds for the future. And this is the balance between home and work. And I said then that you're going to come back and fine tune and tweak it. This is the time period. So Mercury went forward with these thoughts, these ideas. It went into your partnership sector and it said, these are the people that I need to have. Um, I need to have a firm contract with. I need to I need to make sure that we're, we're both on the same page or that we're all on the same page. After gathering the information and having this aha moment, now Mercury is going to go back into Sagittarius with how can I now work with this energy. It is now going to take your new moon intention and say, let's go over it and let's revamp it. Let's rework it. Let's make it so that it is better in order to move forward with. So Cancer, I would love to hear your thoughts about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active for the next upcoming two month period. So be sure to look for other updates on the Mercury transits as they come out. I invite you to join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. And for an in-depth private reading of your chart, you can schedule at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Leo Sun and Leo Rising, Mercury is now moving into your sixth house of your daily habits, finding a mentor, finding a guide. Where do we volunteer? Um, taking care of yourself. The sixth house is also the house of your um, alternative health. It's mental, physical, spiritual, psychological, health, well-being. It's where you need to take care of yourself. Now, Mercury rules over your 11th house of your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your goals, who you network with in in order to manifest those dreams and it rules over your second house of your self-worth your cash your property your resources knowing all of that mercury going into your sixth house says i need to do something that is more sustainable for my my health and my well-being i need to make sure that i'm putting my health above everything else because you can't pour from an empty cup so does that mean tapping into um, a guide um, a mentor a counselor um, finding this balance between my home and my work life. Now, as Mercury moves through this, uh, moves through your sixth house, I want to draw your attention to the 13th. On the 13th, Mercury here is now going to station retrograde. Mercury is now going to um, have you going back and thinking about, oh, I used to see that doctor. I used to see this chiropractor. I used to receive this health regimen. I used to do yoga. I used to, like, what did you used to do? Going back over and identifying things that had to do with your health routine, your volunteer service to other people. The sixth house is is not just about um, it's 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 about alternative health and what you need to do for yourself it can also be about your relationship to co-workers but it's mainly about your self-care and what you need to do and you're rethinking um, I need to be realistic about making these plans sustainable for a longer period of time, not just um, saying that my intention is to get healthy. What does healthy look like? And um, making things um, slow and steady as you progress. Now, as you do this, on December 22nd, Mercury is now going to meet up in the sky with the sun. They call this Kazemi or in the heart of. It's a beautiful time when it's about receiving deep wisdom and it's 
and it is your thoughts, your ideas. You are going back over some things in your life. It's like re it's, it's like tapping back into that counselor and saying, Oh yeah, I remember when I did that, or I said that, or it's, it's, oh, I remember how good I felt, um, to be healthy again, or to eat this way or to volunteer. Oh, um, it's the sixth house is all about you and your daily routine, your job, your workplace. And it's, it's you staying healthy and what do you have to do in order to maintain that and so now you're going to have this great epiphany this idea that's going to come to you then on the very next day on december 23rd mercury is now going to move into your fifth house of of childlike activities or healing the inner child art music creativity I talked about this earlier when you set your new moon intention in the sign of Sagittarius. I said you're going to set this intention to bring great joy to yourself either with your children or with childlike activities um, or what are the areas of your life where we take risks and then Mercury was going to move forward and say yeah this is a great idea and then how do I make this sustainable let's put it into the sixth house and then it was going to station retrograde well, this is the time that it stations retrograde and it's it's saying that whatever you're wanting to do, it is not sustainable. And so now you have to go back and you're going to be rethinking, reevaluating those new moon intentions that you put out there. I'm going to have a separate video on this, but this will be a time where you're going to say, oh, I get it. I have to do this in order for um, this to last over a longer period of time, in order for this to be realistic. I need to make these solid plans before I take these steps to move forward anymore. All right. So Leo, I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active over the next two month period. So be sure to look for updates as they come out for the Mercury transits. I invite you to join me live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations and for a private in-depth reading of your chart you can schedule at willowgracemystic.com and to get updates as soon as they're released please subscribe. So for Virgo Sun and Virgo Rising Mercury is now going to move, be moving forward in your fifth house of pleasure, joy, childlike activities, adult playmates, the house where we take risks. It's the house of children or music or art or creativity. The fifth house is the house of love affairs and basically what brings you pleasure. Mercury is here to thoughts, ideas, communication, and in the sign of Capricorn is how can I make this solid, stable, reliable, and um, more uh, sustainable over a longer period of time. Now, Mercury rules your first house of self Virgo. So this is all about you. Every time Mercury moves forward, backward, or does anything in the chart, it directly affects you and your house of career, your job, your legacy, who you are in the outside world. So know that this is about your appearance, your personality, this, whatever you're doing in the, in the fifth house of pleasure and joy, is going to affect you with your career authority figures how you're seen your ambitions your reputation um, how other people see you uh, rewards your public life um, it is basically like this trifecta of of the way that you communicate and then in the sign of Capricorn says let's build it so it will last so as mercury moves forward I want to bring you to uh, December 13th. On December 13th, Mercury is now going to station and sta and then go retrograde. Retrograde is when it goes back over. Review, rethink, rewind, reevaluate. It's all of the rewords. So you were moving forward with, yeah, I really enjoy this or something with your children or this is really what I want to do. This brings me uh, pleasure. The fifth house is also maybe about bringing an old lover back into your life or retrograde can have you going back and saying, oh, I forgot how much I really enjoyed uh, painting or creativity or art or diving into this music or going to this concert or going uh, going out and um, exploring. Um, remember that this is the house of fun and what brings you joy and fun. So for each person, it is different. Then as we move forward on 
as we move forward to December 22nd. Mercury is now going to meet up in the sky with the sun. They call this in the heart of or Kazemi. Um, the sun is going to illuminate and really shine this bright light. And it's about receiving this deep wisdom about the way that you communicate, going back over these thoughts, these ideas, the, where you wanted to travel, what you wanted to do. It has to do with you, your career, and, and all things that bring you joy. Also the house of taking risks and children. So now you have this deep wisdom and then the very next day, Mercury is then going to station back into your house, your home, your foundation. It's, it's saying that as you go back over these thoughts and these ideas, you're going to get this nugget of information, this wisdom that, oh, I set this new moon intention for my home, my foundation, my roots, my, my genealogy, my, my, the people that feel like family. I set this new moon intention when we had a, full, uh, a new moon in the sign of Sagittarius. And then Mercury went forward with these great ideas of, yes, I want to do this, this, and this, and I want to explore and travel. And then Mercury went into the fifth house of how do I make this sustainable? And then as it stations retrograde, it will become more clear what you have to do. So when Mercury goes back into your fourth house, uh, I'm going to have a separate video on this completely. It's about making, going back over your plans that you had for this new moon intention and saying, I need to make this more sustainable. If I want to do this, I need to go back over it and say, I need to get organized. I need to be more realistic with this. I need to move forward with something that is sustainable or that I can build on over a longer period of time. And it's going to have something to do with your house and your home. This could be like moving or traveling or a second home or or remodeling your home or definitely remodeling your home or refurbishing or redoing something remember mercury retrograde is all of the rewords rewind rethink review reconnect it could be reconnecting with family members from uh that you've been you know the long lost relatives or or diving into the genealogy all right so virgo I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active for the next two month period. So be sure to look for updates as they come out for the Mercury transits. I invite you to join me live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. And for an in-depth reading of your chart, you can schedule at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Libra Sun and Libra Rising, Mercury is now going to be moving into your fourth house of your home, your foundation, your roots, the people that feel like family or your genealogy or your traditions. Mercury moving through this house is, I want to create something that's sustainable, traditions that can last over a longer period of time. The fourth house is your home, your family, it is the connection that you have to the outside world. So this could have you diving into uh, your genealogy to find out who are my family members. It's about making, um, setting these things that are going to be more realistic and making them solid. Um, Mercury rules over also your ninth house of I want to travel there. I want to take this class. I want to dive into spirituality. I want to have something published. It's the house of law. It is my connection to the outside world and people that are different than myself. Mercury also rules over your 12th house, your dreams, your intuitive side. It's karma. It is where we go to be alone. It's your intuition. It is the subconscious realm. It is where we go to get rest and retreats. And it's the uh, spiritual uh, connection. It's where we meditate. And so all of this is probably having you look at, I need to have uh, a safe environment at home that um, I can rest, I can uh, retreat to get the information, to get these downloads um, because I am peopling all the time or I'm connected to so many people or I have these ideas and I want to take these classes and workshops and I want to um, I want to connect with everybody and what does that look like and I need to make sure that I take care of my mental, physical, spiritual health and well-being first and I need to do this through my home. 
Now, as we move forward, uh, Mercury is then going to station retrograde on the 13th. So Mercury is now going to have you going back over. Is that having you remodel something with home? Is that having going back and diving into where you've dove into your genealogy? The fourth house is what is your foundation? It's real estate, it's property, it's your traditions. It has you going back over, oh, these were traditions or, oh, I wanted to build this tradition or I wanted to, uh, it, it has you going back over your past. And then the, let's see, not the very next day. Then on, oops, sorry. Then on December 22nd, Mercury is now going to meet up with the sun in the sky. They call this Kazemi or in the heart of the sun. And this is the sun is blazing and shining a light on everything that has to do with those fourth house topics. And then Mercury is how you are communicating it, but you are going backwards and saying, I need to go, I need to have this house remodeled or I need to go back over the genealogy. I need to go back over these thoughts, these ideas. When we have Mercury Kazemi, it is this um, receiving of deep wisdom. It's these aha moments of, oh, I get it. This is what I have to do. Or this is what you meant by that. Then on the very next day, on December 23rd, the energy is now going to shift. Mercury is now going to go back into your third house of communication. It's who you communicate with on a daily basis. This could be um, work. This could be with your home. This could be your neighbors. This is also the house of short distance travel. Your third house is how you talk and exchange ideas with other people. Now, you had a new moon intention that you set um, when we had the sun and the moon and Mars in the third house of your communication and I said that you're going to have to go back over it well now you have the information to go back and uh, revise this this could be oh I want to start journaling or I want to have something published or I want to communicate in this manner when you have this new moon intention in in the sign of Sagittarius this was I had these really great ideas and then as Mercury went through Capricorn it solidified the ideas and said, we need to make these ideas more sustainable. We need to um, make them realistic. We have to get organized with our plan in order to move forward. So at this time, you're now going to be going back over those um, new moon intentions that you had and uh, you're going to fine tune and tweak them before you move forward with them. I'm going to have a separate video for that explaining more in detail, but it's it's literally you saying, I had this intention, I had these beliefs, and now I'm going to get more, more information, more wisdom, more knowledge. And then I can go back and say, mm, this plan can be more realistic. My idea can now be realistic as I move forward with it. So Libra, I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active over the next two month period. So be sure to look for updates for the uh, Mercury transits as they come out. I invite you to join me live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. And to get an in-depth private reading, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Scorpio Sun and Scorpio Rising, Mercury is now moving into your third house of communication. The third house for you is who you communicate with on a daily basis. This could be your neighbors, your siblings, your cousins. Um, the third house it can also be your co-workers. It is who you share and communicate with or transfer information or exchange uh, your thoughts and your ideas. The third house is also writing and journaling and short distance travel. So. Mercury in Capricorn is uh, offering you this opportunity to say, whatever is going on, I need to now make it sustainable. Now, Mercury also rules over your 11th house of your personal hopes, wishes, dreams, who you network with or who do you align yourself with. And this could be coworkers or people that you want to move forward with, with things that bring you joy and pleasure. Mercury also rules over your eighth house of of shared resources. This could be with debt or taxes or alimony, or um, this could be with a business partner or a significant um, other. Uh, the eighth house is the house of where we have these deep 
bonding um, contracts or connections with other people. It's our private affairs that we, we just don't share with other people. It's also the house of, of deep transformation and uh, taboo topics and sex. So know that all of this um, could come up with Mercury now moving into your third house. So Mercury moving through your third house is going to open up um, avenues of, I need to um, have concrete information. I need to have the facts. Uh, this needs to be logical. I need to have the information that is based on facts that I can gather and create to move forward with. Now, as we move forward on to December 13th, uh, Mercury is now going to station retrograde. Now, you have gathered this information and you want it to be all facts. Now you're going to go back over it and say, um, this could be taking a class, taking a workshop, going back over your notes, getting back in touch with people that uh, you, this could be your neighbors, your siblings, the people that you work with. It is going back. It's reviewing, rethinking, rewriting. Uh, you could be writing something. And then this is an opportunity to go back and um, rewrite your, your journals entries or going back over over something that involved um, uh, your thoughts, your own personal ideas. Then we move a little bit further and on the 22nd, Mercury is now going to meet up in the sky with the sun. They call this in the heart of or Kazemi. So as the sun is illuminating and so now the sun is saying, look, all the information is solid. It is stable. Um, this is based on my reputation. This is, these are my thoughts. These are my ideas. With Mercury here, it's kind of like this aha moment. It's receiving this deep wisdom, this, this information that says, I get it. I now have what I need to move forward with. Now, as we move forward with this aha moment, Mercury is now going to, the very next day, move back into your second house. This is your self-worth, your cash, your property, your own personal resources. Now, we talked about this earlier that you had this new moon inten um, intention in the sign of Sagittarius. And we had the sun, the moon, everything was here. And it's saying, let's set these intentions to expand this area of my life. And I said, we're going to go back and fine tune and tweak it Well, Mercury, um, Mercury did go through and say, yeah, these ideas are absolutely great, but I need the facts. Um, not all of this is sustainable. So Mercury went into your third house and this was the gathering of information, gathering of data. When Mercury goes back into your second house, it will be an opportunity for you to now say, Mm, that new moon intention, I need to fine tune and tweak it because those contracts are not sustainable. Um, that investment is not sustainable. Remember that the second house has to do with your money, your finances, your resources, and this will have you going back over your original plans of where were you having your money allocated or has something to do with your salary, your income, or your shared resources that you will have with other people. Um, I'm going to have another video on that come out a little bit later, but know that those are going to be the themes because as you move forward, it is an opportunity to say, um, I need to make this sustainable and uh, lasting over a longer period of time because I want my money to grow and it will help me feel good about my, my resources and my, my personal self-worth. All right, so for Scorpio, I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active for you over the next coming two-month period, so be sure to look back for updates on the Mercury transits as they come out. I invite you to join me live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. To get a private consultation, you can schedule at willowgracemystic.com, and to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Sagittarius Sun and Sagittarius Rising, Mercury is going to now move into your second house. Your second house is your self-worth. It's your personal cash, property, your resources. It's people, places, and things that you highly value that you want to um, keep track of or covet to yourself. It's your skill set. It's your salary. It's your income. It's basically your possessions, your money. It's your work ethic. So Mercury stationing 
thing um, now moving forward is I want to build something that has to do with my my money, my resources, something that uh, will last over a longer period of time. I need to have these conversations. I need to be realistic. I need to look into this and I need to be the one to decide where is the money going or where what do I do with my resources. Now, Mercury also rules your 10th house of career and it rules your seventh house of partnerships. Mercury is very important for you because whenever it moves through a different sign, it will affect your career, your job, your legacy, how people see you, your public life, um, uh, authority figures, your partners, your business partners, your significant others, your best friends, your clients, your one-on-one -on -one relationships, and the way that you negotiate. So Sagittarius, it is really important um, that you follow Mercury in your chart. So as we move forward, we now have this opportunity to say, all right, I, I have these ideas. I need to dive into the facts before I move forward. And then we move to the 13th. On the 13th, we're now going to have Mercury stationing retrograde. Mercury retrograde is about slowing down of travel or communication in order to have you review, rethink, rewind. It's all of the rewords. It has you take a second look of, of, of things. And so this may have you looking at things that you value in your home and saying, I no longer need this, or I want to refurbish this, or I really love this. What do I do with this? Or I need to rethink my salary, my skill set. I need to rethink my possessions, my income. It literally will have you saying, um, what do I value for the longer haul or what is my value over a longer period of time and it'll have you going back over those thoughts and ideas then on the 22nd the Sun is going to con um, conjunct or meet up in the sky with Mercury they call this Kazemi or in the heart of the Sun and so this is going to be an opportunity where the Sun is going to shine a light on all of your personal resources, your self-worth, wh what makes you feel good or feel safe, feel secure in order for you to build something that lasts. Well, it's an opportunity to receive this deep wisdom. And then the very next day, Mercury is going to move back into Sagittarius. If you remember in one of the earlier videos, I said you're going to set this new moon intention in the sign of Sagittarius. Sag, for you, this is all about yourself, of what you wanted to do, where you wanted to go, how you wanted to be known. Um, it's literally, it was all about how people view you, your happiness, your health, your habits. It is everything. And then Mercury was um, shoot for the stars like everything I want everything available to me out there when Mercury went into Capricorn I'm sorry when yeah when Mercury went into Capricorn this is an opportunity to say I need the facts is this sustainable how do I build this how can I change this what what does this now look like I'm gonna have a separate video that's gonna go into more detail but Mercury going back into Sagittarius is going to have you rethink your new moon intentions that you put out there because it wants you to make them realistic, sustainable, real. Um, it's about no nonsense, having this precision before you uh, move forward, being very focused and having these practical matters of this is what I want to do and this is how I'm going to communicate it. I'm going to be more logical, orderly and organized as I move forward. So Sagittarius, I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active over the next couple of months, so be sure to look for updates as they are uh, released for the transits to come. I invite you to join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. To get a private consultation, you can schedule at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Capricorn Sun and Capricorn Rising, Mercury is now moving into your first house of self. This is really important for you because um, Mercury is thoughts, ideas, travel, and you communicating. What do you want to do? The first house is all about you, your power, your self-expression, how people see you. I always say it's like your business card or it's your website. It is how you are presenting yourself to the world. It's your personality, your appearance, your identity. Now Mercury rules over your ninth house of foreign people, places, things, travel. Um, the ninth house is diving into spirituality, understanding different religions. It is the house of uh, 
It's the house of adventure and legal matters, taking classes, taking workshops, having work published. Mercury also rules over your sixth house of your daily habits, your how you stay healthy, who you connect up with, meaning a counselor or a mentor or uh, your um, how you focus on your service to others and your relationship to your coworkers. It's also the house of pets, but is how you take care of your mind, your body, and your spirit. So Mercury moving into Capricorn is going to be pretty important because it's how you are communicating the thoughts and the ideas that are going through your head. And it's you having these clear methodical thoughts and ideas, focusing on rational and practical ideas. Now, as we move forward on December 13th, you're going to notice that Mercury is now going to station retrograde. Mercury retrograde will have you going back over some some areas of this is going back over an old hairstyle going back over maybe a business page going back over um, something that you had started that has to do with you personally this could be your job your career um, a creative project something that um, is personally yours it'll have you reevaluating some of your habits your looks your clothes anything that has to do with you and then on December 22nd, we're going to have the sun meet up in the sky with Mercury. They call this Kazemi or in the heart of. Um, basically, it, this is an opportunity to say, I'm going to receive this deep wisdom. The sun coming into Capricorn is like this aha moment of focusing all with you. And Mercury retrograde has you going back over all of these thoughts and ideas of, Oh, I get it now. This is really what I want to do with my website. This is really what I want to do with my job. This is really what I want to do with my life. And then the very next day on December 23rd, Mercury is now going to go back into your 12th house. This will be a time of, I need to tap into my dreams, my intuition. I need to take time out. Um, I need to meditate. I need to have rest and recovery. And I need to focus on um, receiving of the message or the intuition that I get through your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels, um, any of those topics. Now, I talked about this earlier when you set a new moon intention in the sign of Sagittarius. I said that you were going to set this intention in your 12th house of this is really what you wanted to accomplish and then Mercury was going to go through it because Mercury says yes I, I want everything I have these great ideas and then when Mercury went into your first house it was I want to implement this I want to make this happen I'm going to be rational and practical and then you have to go back and say is that really all that I want is this all sustainable is this all um, what I'm able to do, uh, my thought patterns, my communication styles. I need to make this more, um, more methodical as I move forward. So when Mercury goes back into your 12th house, I'm going to have a separate video on this, but it'll have you revamping your new moon intention and saying, I now need to make this realistic and practical. There was nothing wrong with it. It was just so broad that you now are going to have the wisdom and the knowledge of Mercury going through your 12th and your first house that it is now going to go back and say, let's revamp this. Let's tweak this. Let's, I need to go to a mentor. I need to run this idea by someone. I need to connect up with my guides. I need to dive back into that class, that workshop, or that study in order to fully understand really what's going on um, to make sure that everything is solid, stable, reliable as Mercury moves forward. So Capricorn, I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active for you over the next two months, so be sure to look for updates on the Mercury transits as they come out. I invite you to join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. And to get a private consultation, you can schedule at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. 
So for Aquarius Sun and Aquarius Rising, Mercury is now going to be moving into your 12th house. Now the 12th house for you is your dreams. It's your intuition. It's where we go for rest and recovery. The 12th house is where we um, go to pay attention to our subconscious mind, um, other dimensions, to tap into astral travel, the Akashic records, um, its angels, its ancestors. It's anything that is uh, not material that you can put your hands on, but it's like in the spiritual realm. It's where we say, I'm going to um, have a, a moment of meditation and rest, retreat, recovery. It's where you withdraw. And okay, the negative sides of this are, it could be scandal of like things coming to light or uh, the, the um, hospitals and afflictions and so if you don't take care of yourself that's where you can be afflicted by other things that will force you to slow down so mercury mercury wants to work on things that are or communicate in ways that are sustainable buildable now mercury also rules over your eighth house of your shared resources your uh, deep bonding uh, connections that you have either with business partners or marital partners or significant others people that you are connected with through um, uh, money or resources that you share with others and this could be debt taxes alimony child support it, the eighth house is also where we have these private um, affairs these these joint topics uh, the eighth house is where we um, have these joint ventures with other people and it could be through exes it doesn't have to be with people that you enjoy being in contact with now mercury also rules over your fifth house of children fun joy um, uh, pleasure, art, music, creativity, uh, tapping into your childlike, um, tap into your inner child. So know that Mercury going through your 12th house is going to say, look, um, I need to be able to do these things in order to make these other things in my life more sustainable. Now, as we move forward to the 13th, Mercury is now going to station retrograde. Retrograde is uh, think of the words review, rewind, rethink, um, reevaluate. Um, it will have you going back over. Are you taking enough time out for your uh, mental, physical, spiritual health, well being? Are you tapped into the spiritual realm? Are you receiving those downloads? Are you paying attention to your dreams? Um, I love the 12th house in that it's the private world that not everybody has access to. Does it have its drawbacks? Yeah, but if I learn to embrace it and work with its energies, it is, oh, I can tap into um, astral travel, the Akashic records. It is about receiving those downloads or, or going back over that information. Now, as it stations retrograde, it's having you take all those topics and like go back over them. Then on the 22nd, on the 22nd, Mercury is going to meet up in the sky with the sun. They call this Kazemi or in the heart of. So the sun is now going to shine a bright light or a focus on your 12th house topics of, of, of like, look, this could be things coming to light, your private matters being shown or, or scandal coming to light. Or it could be, oh, I am now connected to I, I now realize that I'm not going crazy by hearing the voices or by um, seeing things or um, feeling things Mercury meeting up with the Sun is about receiving this deep wisdom and getting this aha moment then the very next day Mercury is now going to go back into your uh, ninth I'm sorry, your 11th house. The 11th house for you is your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your goals, your networks of who are you connecting with in order to get where you want. This can be work associates or these could be clubs or organizations, either where you volunteer or what makes you feel good. Now, when Mercury goes back into that house, it will have you reevaluate your new moon intention that you put when the for the new moon in Sagittarius. 
the new moon in Sagittarius was my hopes, my wishes, my dreams of all these connections. And these are the things that I want to do. And Mercury is now saying, yeah, those were great. It was absolutely fantastic, but we need to make it grounded. We need to, need to make it solid. We need to, um, we need to make it sustainable. And what that was is not sustainable. We need to get to the point with how we communicate and we need to make it methodical and focus and be more rational and practical in and ground this intention. So as Mercury goes through this house, it will be going back over your new moon intention. I'm going to have a separate video that will come out on this later, but um, the short of it is you're going to take your new moon intention and then you're going to um, fine tune and tweak it. It's not throwing it out. It is saying, I need to make this more sustainable with the new knowledge that I now have in order to move forward with, I, I want to make this so that it is, um, able to last over a longer period of time. I have to have a plan and I have to have a schedule in order to make this work. So Aquarius, I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below because Mercury is going to be very active over the next two month period. So be sure to look for the other updates as Mercury transits as they come out. I invite you to join me live on Tuesdays where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. To get a private consultation, you can schedule at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. So for Pisces Sun and Pisces Rising, Mercury is now moving into your 11th house. This is the house of your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, the people that you connect up with either through volunteering or through your work groups. It could be your shared beliefs, your networks, you where you are connected with kindred spirits or with your peers. It's your social circles. It's the house of what do I do for creative projects that I connect up with others. Mercury is wanting to have these thoughts, these ideas of how do I communicate? How do I make this more sustainable? My, your, your focus is going to be more rational and practical. It's, I want to do this. I want to connect up with these groups. This could be through Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok. Um, it's where you connect up with others or where you volunteer. This could also be, uh, again, through work. Now, Mercury, also rules over your seventh house of your partnership, your significant other, your one plus one, your clients, your, uh, this could be business partner or significant other. It's also open enemies and exes, but, um, I'm looking at this as an opportunity for you to use these connections of friends. And it's also Mercury rules over your house, your home, your foundation, your roots. And so um, people that are your, in your life for your home or that feel like family or best friends or partners or significant others or clients, all of those topics are going to be um, part of what do you want to do and who do you want to connect and how do you become more methodical, rational and practical about moving forward with these goals. Now. Mercury, thoughts and ideas, travel, and how do I include these other topics? Mercury is going to move through with this is who you want to connect up with, how you want to do this. And then on the 13th, Mercury is now going to station retrograde. It's going to say, wait, let's go back. Let's review this group. Let's review this where, where you volunteer. Let's review your role in that group. Maybe you're head of an organization or head of a group and you're rethinking this saying, this is a really good time for me to tap on out because I don't know if I, I really want to do this anymore, or I might need to hand over the reins to somebody else, or I might want to, uh, this is like going through your Facebook or your Instagram or, or whatever you have and saying, I'm going to unfollow these things because they no longer resonate with me. Um, that's what Mercury retrograde is, uh, gives you this opportunity to do. It literally has you going back over and rethinking that area of your life. And then on the 22nd, notice that the sun and Mercury are meeting up in the sky. They call this in the heart of or Kazemi. Um, Mercury retrograde meeting up with the sun is going to be this beautiful opportunity for receiving deep wisdom because the sun is saying, hey, make this sustainable. I'm shining this a light on this area of your life. And it is going to be receiving this deep wisdom. And it's going to be this aha moment of, yeah, I finally get it. I now know what I have to do. 
you set a new moon intention. I'm going to go one more day. You set this new moon intention as you were moving uh, um, in your house of career, your legacy of what you wanted to do, how you wanted to be known when the moon and the sun were together in Sagittarius. And I said that you're going to have to go back and rethink it. Mercury had you seen everything, all these thoughts, all these ideas. As Mercury went into Capricorn, it said, it's, it's about an opportunity of, these are the groups that you need to network in. This is what you need to get rid of. All of this is not sustainable. This means um, that you have to be realistic about what you want to do and how you want to move forward with this. So you will be going back over this area in order to create a, an intention or create something with your job, your career, your legacy, how you want to be known, an award, something, something that has to do with bosses or authority in order to move forward that it will be um, more realistic and more sustainable. I'm going to have a separate video that will come out for that um, a little later. So, um, so Pisces, I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. Mercury is going to be very active over the next uh, up and coming two months, so be sure to look for updates as they come out. I invite you to join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer new moon and full moon astrology consultations. And for an in-depth private reading, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe.